morning everybody welcome to Tuesday so we've been I was gonna say hard at it in the field but that ain't right we've been kind of in the fields for a week now um, we've got a lot of other crap going on so it hasn't been a full out run between me and Cameron getting stuff done but we've been getting a lot of different things done got a lot of fields worked such as that one a lot of fields planted now today we're gonna do some land planning which I'm excited about we're actually gonna smooth up some fields but first I gotta go pick up some rocks because I found a crap ton of rocks in the last field I was working last night what do you think just few rocks chunks of concrete old parts log so right here used to be an old yard we tore it out what's it been seven eight years ago when we put up the pivot and this is the first time the ground has been ripped because this was a hay field so all we did was just patch hay into it and then last year we no-tilled the corn into the hay stand so that's the first time that's been ripped and there's a lot more rocks out there but they're smaller than those so yeah that's good enough for today Kenny's still working on getting some ponds back up and going. Or back up and going. Back to where they were. Slowly you get sediment built up in them. And then also anytime it's dry, if you can get in there and work on the bottom, it's good because you can pack it tighter. We got some ponds that like to leak a lot of water. So anytime we can get in there with tractors, do some dirt work, pack them down, that one, trying to dig out the bottom just a little bit, give us a little bit more room in it. Yeah, it's good stuff. I had to come find him to get the book because I don't remember how to run that land plane. So let's go figure it out together, shall we? If you've never seen it before, this is a Schmeiser land plane. It'll unfold, becomes one giant blade. Let's go see if I can remember how to run it because I really don't at all. So this is an old ditch here at the new sprinkler projects. Big tuna on me, come see if I could kind of smooth it out. Kenny filled it in, got it as smooth as he could with that big pan scraper and killifer. What I'm doing, because I know I've heard horror stories about what happens to these things when you try and do dirt work like this, you just bend the hell out of it. I don't have the frame touching that much, or the blade, I should say. But what I have a lot of pressure on is the points in the back trying to soften it up, because Kenny's made a hell of a hard pan like he would with one of them scrapers. I'm going to use these little s tines to try and soften it up a little bit so that way I can do more. And I'm doing S zigzags back and forth just trying to kind of swing out and get all this stuff loosened up. And that's also making passes across the ditch, bringing some of that dirt out. Now right, we'll see how this goes. Here it is, noon. Still nowhere near done with this project. Oh, I hate those. I'll just go do that real quick, then get started over on the other one. Still using the tines, trying to break up the hard pack from the scraper. I've got it pretty well broken. Now I'm ready to start smoothing it up. But I've, they're loading cattle. Others are grinding. There is nobody around. So I'm going to fold this damn thing up, I guess, to drive for lunch. Ah, oh, one of those days actually gonna have a farm crew this afternoon Cameron just took off in the ripper I'm gonna go get the land plane started on an actual field so Maddie can come take over and I can go get back on the drill damn this thing damn this thing farming now we're cruising along I have no idea if I'm running this correctly but it seems to be working it's taking a little bit of roughness with that Colts backer left and Leaving it nice and smooth, but not powder, so I don't have to worry about blowing too bad. You can see some spots are going to blow, but at this point it is what it is. With water coming later this week, it's it's go time now. Whether, whether the forecast is on your side or not, we got to get it done. Got Maddie trained up on the Schmeiser. Now I'm on the outside looking at it, it kind of makes a little more sense. The uh, wheels go out a little bit wider than the blade. Couldn't ever figure that out going up and 
back and forth. I'm like, man, it seems like the wheels are on the outside of the blade. Sure enough, they are. All right, don't break it, Matty. Let's go see if we can get the drill empty to trip so we're ready for oats tomorrow. Got enough trit seed to plant about 10 acres or so. So again, just doing in a little filling where fields are thin. Got some pivots I haven't made it to yet. But trying to get it empty tonight so that way tomorrow this thing can get switched over to oats. Get started planting where I left Maddie floating. Alright guys, last three hours went a little sideways on me. Uh, I had to go pick up my daughter from school. Was able to finish patching a circle with her riding with me because I picked her up in the tractor because well, it's fun to do every once in a while. Um, finished patching another circle. I'm damn near out of seed. I got to reshift it again. But we had to leave again to get her to a martial arts class. She passed belt testing. That was pretty cool to watch. Um, yeah, now it is quarter after seven. I am running over to the new sprinkler project because I was told to go check it out. They made some progress today. So let's go see what we got. Check it out guys, concrete is in. It's got the wire on. This pond is ready for water. Pump area not quite, but the pond is ready for water. So these pipes will obviously get trimmed down. This is the place where the well will be mounted. So they'll get cut way down here. Well put on top of it. And then where's the filters? Over there on the trailer. So you'll have other fittings, the filters. And then boom, that filter connect to there. So they brought this pipe up today. They set the post, getting ready for the electric to come up and go right back. So you got electric in, electric out. This is this is really moving along all of a sudden. I'm liking it, guys. I am liking it. So yeah, electric, those two electric cords and the one that's over there will all come here to the middle. Looks like quite a few of the boxes and stuff are here. All good things. Another amazing Colorado sunset to cap off a day. Cameron's been ripping away. Even got a little bit of start on that side. It's ripping nice. See what this ground can do now that we got a little manure on it. A little tillage on it. Smooth it up, because I'm tired of bouncing across it. Talk to you guys later.